today I'm going to talk to you about blocks in version 1.9 and version 2.0. And one similarity that immediately comes to mind is that blocks can be minimized down to their titles or their names. And you can do that in 1.9 and you can do that in 2.0. Also, you can minimize the number of sections that are viewable at any one time by clicking the little minimize icon there. Now, it just has the uh, top general section and then the section that I'm interested in. I'm going to expand those again. And that functionality is just the same in 1.9 as in 2.0. I'm going to open these guys up too. Now, one difference that does exist in terms of making your screen a little bit less cluttery and a little bit more clean is the ability to dock your blocks. And docking a block means that it takes it out of one of these two columns and puts it as a little gray tab up here in the corner of the screen. So I'm going to dock uh, the navigation block here. I'm going to do it by clicking this, move this to the dock icon. And if you look up here in this corner, you can see that the navigation icon is up there. And I can access everything that I could I could access previously, uh, only if I'm have the uh, screen minimized, uh, it takes up a lot less real estate. And let me show you what the screen would look like if you docked all of your blocks, nice and clean. So I like that. I think that that's I I like that. I think that that's a, an advantage. Uh, if you want to undock a block, you roll over the dock and you click the undock icon. If you wanted to undock all of the blocks, you go down here to the lower left-hand corner of your screen, and there's a little obscure icon down there that if you roll over it, it says undock all. And if you click that, it undocks all of your blocks. Um, if you want to reposition blocks, there's a little bit of a ad advantage in version 2 over version 1.9. First of all, you need to turn editing on. And in version 1.9, if you recall, you could only move blocks one unit above or below or from one side to the other. Now you can move blocks uh, pretty much anywhere. I'm going to move the section link here, down here. You see these uh, little, cute little pink targets. I'm going to move the people's block uh, by clicking this uh, move icon. And once again, there the targets appear. I'm going to click on that target and move that over there as well. So that is uh, moving blocks, um, which, is, which is useful. Um, let me talk a little bit more about blocks on uh, secondary pages. Um, now, if I let me turn the editing off just so we can see the screen a little bit more clearly. Um, if you go into a secondary page like the syllabus, for example, you'll see that there are blocks on those pages, uh, settings that are specifically related to that block, uh, to that page, and then uh, the navigation uh, block as well, and. If you wanted to, let's say you wanted to add a block to a secondary page. Let me show you how to do that. First of all, you need to turn the editing on. And let's go back down into a secondary page. Let's go down into uh, Chocolate Manufacturers. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that the Add a Block block is here. And let's add the Comments block. And I want that Comments block to be real visible for my students, so I want to move it up to the top of this uh, column. So there's the comments block. So students can, uh, if they know of some other chocolate manufacturers, they can add those comments there and, and uh, the whole class will benefit from their knowledge. Let's say that I wanted to add the comments block to um, the whole site. Uh, to do that, I need to first of all go up to the main page and I need to scroll down to the add a block block and let's add comments. And once again, Let's uh, move that up toward the top so we can see it. There's my target, and there we moved it. Now I do need to do a little uh, configuration. I'm going to do that with this configuration icon. And what I want to do is I want to display it uh, on any page within this site, and I want to display it to, to every page. In addition, I want it to show up toward the top of uh, sections, so I do that by changing these couple little settings. And I'm going to click Save Changes. And now, if I turn off the editing and if I go into the syllabus where there used to not be a comments block, there's a comments block. And that comment, comments block is going to be found all over. Now, the comments that are made here are, are context sensitive. They stay here on this page. Comments that might be made in a quiz or in the glossary will be shown in the, the, respectively in the quiz and in the glossary.